Land Rover Discovery of the First Generation, 1989 to 1998, brought a lot of trouble to its owners. The second generation, 1998 to 2004, turned out to be more reliable, but still inherited a large part of the branded diseases. But the truly new Discovery 3 of the Ford era, 2004 to 2009, is said to be even better. Is it so? The main difference of the third disco is the abundance of electronics, what is worth one terrain response system, which allows using the joystick to select one of five complex operating modes of the engine, suspension, transmission, and brakes. But it is electronics that is the main cause of trouble. At first, the owners of Disco 3 were pestered by raw software, anything could be buggy, and new firmware versions had to be filled in almost more often than oil in the engine. The programs were more or less debugged, but the Discovery local network still hangs periodically, although in most cases the proven procedure saves, turning off the power and rebooting. With age, headaches, and communication with electricians are added by a chronic contact disease, the wiring itself rots inside the insulation, the cost of harnesses, by the way, is up to 2,000 euros, the connectors turn green. And all right, if because of this only the sound signal was deaf or the turn signals, instrument lighting and door lock actuators spontaneously came to life. No, the first and main victim is the same terrain response system. For example, a seemingly trifling loss of communication with the ABS sensor can cut down the speedometer light up a full iconostasis of warning lights on the instrument panel and lower the air suspension to the middle position. Pneumatic elements instead of springs are equipped with 90% of all Disco 3, and they can throw a lot of problems. If the machine is flattened, prepare 1,250 euros to replace the piston compressor. By the way, on the road, do not forget that it is located at the left rear wheel and is very vulnerable. It makes sense to put optional protection, and at the tire fitting, Warn that the compressor casing is not mistaken for a jacking platform. In this case, the inevitable replacement of the broken aluminum mounting bracket will cost 300 euros. If the disco suddenly fell on one side, the reason lies in one of the four wheel sensors of the suspension position or in the leakage of air springs, which are covered from dirt by metal casings. They are rarely wiped through, as before, and their performance is often lost due to age related micro cracks in a rubber sheath after 5 to 6 years of service or 100 to 130,000 kilometers. With the same mileage, it's time to change the shock absorbers of a conventional spring suspension, and the wheel bearings can be asked to retire much earlier. The front ones, together with the steering knuckles, cost 200 euros, and the rear ones separately, 80 euros. On cars older than 2008, the bulkhead of the front suspension rumbling on bumps before 40,000 kilometers is a common thing. Reinforced ball bearings, silent blocks of levers and steering tips can withstand at least 50 to 60,000 kilometers and are changed separately. Often the rack and pinion steering mechanism gives a reason to visit the service. A small backlash after 6,000 kilometers is best eliminated immediately by adjustment. A new rail instead of a broken one will cost 1,000 euros. A knock in the cardan joint of the steering shaft does not require urgent intervention, but if you get tired of it, you will have to change the shaft. Do not be surprised, but the failure to lock the optional E-diff rear differential is usually reported by a warning about a malfunction of the air suspension that has ceased to be regulated and shown down. The phenomenon is rare, and cleaning reanimates the motors for a short time, but they are changed under warranty, at their own expense. 900 euros for a new one and 550 euros for a factory restored one. And keep in mind that the same symptoms appear with the dead transfer case control unit. It is located in the engine compartment behind the battery and is afraid of water. You need to wash the engine very carefully. By the way, the electric drive is also in charge of switching between the lower and upper row of the transfer case, but it is located more successfully and is much more tolerant of mud baths. And the transfer case itself and the gearboxes and the rare six-speed ZF mechanics available on diesel versions fail infrequently. The automatic six-speed ZF626 usually requires control of shaft seals and oil pump seals after 120 to 150,000 kilometers, but it can leave a significant part of its resource off the road. Frequent slippage leads to rapid wear of the torque converter and twitching on the go. The bulkhead costs 2,500 euros, but do not rush into repairs if, after an off-road extreme on asphalt, the adaptive automatic starts to get confused in gears and shift jerkily. It is usually enough to reset the glare settings of the gearbox control. In our market, 
three out of four discoveries are equipped with a 2.7-liter V6 turbo diesel. Co-developed by Ford, Land Rover, Jaguar, and PSA Peugeot Citroën. The common rail power system uses Siemens injectors with piezoelectric elements instead of solenoids. Fuel from untested gas stations is categorically contraindicated for this motor. By the way, not only the engine loves high-quality diesel fuel, the first, often after 40 to 50,000 kilometers, the standard Webasto autonomous heater, which is not distinguished by reliability, usually starts to act up. Repair will cost at least 500 euros. The beginning of troubles is hard not to notice. In case of unsuccessful startups from under the bottom in the region of the left front wheel, smoke is thicker than usual. Motors older than 2007 are haunted by failures of the EGR valve clogged with soot. They lose power and start poorly. A discovery with turbo diesels modified to Euro for economy standards was recalled to replace the high-pressure fuel pump. The high-pressure fuel pump stands in the collapse of the block and, when the front bearing is destroyed, it irrigates everything around with diesel fuel, a column of smoke from under the hood of the discovery that suddenly lost power left an indelible impression on many owners. If you are going to buy a car manufactured before 2009, do not be too lazy to ask the dealer if the pump has changed. The modified one does not present such surprises. After the trick with the fuel pump, increased exhaust smoke and oil drips on the turbocharger and intercooler pipes will seem like childish pranks. Let's warn those who like to drive, in tension, this is fraught with souring of the axes of the movable blades in the low speed position. And do not forget to check the coolant level, its noticeable decrease indicates that the leaky heat exchanger of the recirculation system literally drives antifreeze into the pipe. Otherwise, a diesel engine with a low 17.3-1 compression ratio is durable. At least half a million kilometers are provided to it. On the road, do not forget to change the timing belt after 120,000 kilometers, and by the end of the journey, prepare 4,500 euros for the cylinder block assembly. It is officially non-reparable. The aluminum cylinder block of the Jaguar Gasoline 8 is twice as expensive, but in the timing drive there is an eternal chain. Serious problems with this motor are rare, and of the little things are oil seals and gaskets that flow after 100 to 120,000 kilometers, and frequent failures of fuel pumps, ignition coils, injectors, and throttle servo. The second gasoline engine, a Ford the fifth six with a volume of 4.0 liters, was installed only on cars for America and Australia, and it is practically not found in our country, but if something happens, mechanics are familiar with it from Ford Ranger and Explorer cars. At the third disco, only the hood and wings of the fifth door are made of winged metal. The rest, with the exception of the magnesium alloy front cross member, is made of galvanized steel, which successfully resists rust. In a word, Land Rover is not a trouble-free land cruiser for you. But in terms of the number and severity of problems, the Discovery 3 is no worse than the elderly Volkswagen Touareg. After all, Disco has indeed become in many ways more successful than its predecessors, and the vagaries of electrics are now a commonplace. Of course, the Briton requires a competent attitude and branded service. But you can take it from your hands, especially since it is profitable. Discovery loses an average of 14 to 15 percent of the original price per year and at the age of three to five years it costs from 900,000 to one and a half million rubles. But we would recommend giving preference to cars younger than three years old, those that still have a factory warranty.